Okay, here's an HTML file that I've gotten out of the source code um, and get and added indentations to, so you can see sort of what's going on with the comments. Um, that's the one complaint I have with WordPress is the source code it echoes out is pretty messy, but I guess that's more PHP than WordPress. I'm going to include this in the file. This is not an actual theme file, and this doesn't do anything, so just look at it if you want to see how the comments are structured. Um, so we're going to talk about some styling right now. I'm going to open this with Notepad. This is all the styling that goes into the uh, actual theme uh, design itself. But the rest of it is going to be uh, stuff for WordPress only. Uh, now the first thing I want to tackle is the huge text area. And that is, I'm going to access, it's in the div ID comment form. And the text area. And I'm going to make the width, so oh, let's see width 400 px and height 100 px and for those of you who are familiar with CSS um, that will automatically shrink it down so that it's much more manageable you can add more styling to, to, that, to it than that but I prefer not to um, I think that's good enough for now we're going to talk about how to style the comment list itself so that is unordered list with the class of comment list that's just the whole thing and we're going to do list style type is none. Um, li styling lists in CSS is um, a bit tricky. Um, so I, if you want to look up a separate tutorial on that, you can. This is just some basic stuff to get rid of all the, uh, uh, the stuff that lists come with by default, uh, setting the margin padding to zero and the margin at the top 10px. So now you won't see any bullet points on the base list, which is nice. That's what we want so far. Now let's style the actual uh, list items. Um, yeah, wait, no, ul comment list li, and for those of you familiar with CSS, uh, that uh, tells it that any li found within ul comment list. Uh, so we want. I'm going to set it to border one px solid even, or solid black, and the margin at the bottom ten px, just so that stuff isn't uh, smushed together too much. Now let's see. Now if you noticed on my uh, HTML file, which is right here, um, that each comment is given a class of even or odd, depending on its position. So I'm just going to style that. I, this is one of those things that you don't have to do, but it makes your theme look sort of better. ul.commentlist.li.even. There's a lot of CSS traversing here, so hopefully you're t good with that. I'm going to set the background color to f1, f1, f1. And I'm going to set, do the same thing uh, for odds, except I'm going to set the background color to just plain white, which is FFFFFF. Uh, okay, so now if we load this up, you can see now we have borders as well as um, different color comments. Hopefully the different colors will come out for you, um, depending on your monitor type. Okay, so let's let's add some styling because you notice there are still some problems with the lists that are sublists. Now we want ul.children. I'm going to set the list style type of that to uh, none as well. Because uh, now in this uh, sample file, I only did the first comment because there's a lot in there. But if you notice that this is in a UL class children, and the children just keep building, so the ULs are actually outlined in gray, so you can see that's a UL, this is the whole white part here is a UL, so that can help you uh, get a better handling on what's what. So we want the list style type of that to be none. I'm going to give it a 3, three pixel margin, uh, left margin of 10 pixels, and padding of 0. see uh, ul.childrenli I'm going to give that a margin and padding of 0 and let's see margin at the top of 3px uh, a few more things oh. 
Uh, I just gave some more styling to the uh, you these two lists here, mainly the UL Ch Children Li gave zero, zero, and three. You can take a look at this on your own. Uh, comment author, which is a div that has well the author's name in it. Uh, that's a div. You can write that. I just didn't. I'm gonna make the background color background color number D A D A D A. Those, if you're wondering, I don't have these memorized, but uh, I have them on a piece of paper next to me. A uh, comment time. That's a div I made in the comment theme. I'm just gonna shrink down the font size, 0 0.7 f 0 0.75 em. And the div uh, I labeled respond, which has the form in it, I'm just going to give a padding of 5px2. OK, so we load this. Now our list looks a lot better. And you can tell what's a reply, what's not. And you can't like make it, you can't make it out to be a list that a list that was just cheaply made. This looks good. Next video, I'll show you how to make the reply links work, because if you check right now, they don't. Um, uh, they work normally, but you need JavaScript enabled, and I'll show you how to do that next video.